What's up everybody, how's it going? And welcome to this episode of Car Rant. Today is a very special day because we are finally getting another Metropolitan. If you followed our channel for any length of time, you will know that in the last year, we've really gotten into scooters because they're like a nice little fun thing to do while you're waiting on the big stuff with cars. And also, there's just something really fun about being able to just rev out a small little engine as far as it will go. I mean, it's why people buy Miatas and Civics, right? It's just ours happens to be bipedal instead of quad pedal. So for a little bit of perspective, why are we getting another Metropolitan instead of getting a Ruckus since, as you guys might be aware, we've had this guy just sitting here, just wasting away for the last year. We put a ton of effort into trying to make it work and then we stopped. Well, what happened? Why did we stop? As you can see, like I said, a ton of work was done. We refreshed paint, made it look nice. Now it's a little beat up from sitting. Like new exhaust. We even tried to figure out what was up with this tire situation. But as we were going through it, we actually pulled apart the whole front assembly. And in case you couldn't see that, that is a completely shot VIN plate. Turns out the guy before us had accidentally, or purposely, I don't really know, but he put a bolt straight through the VIN plate, which is a big no-no. See, one of the big things that I did not know about was that some states do not require a title registration or plates on a moped. You can just buy one and ride it home that day. And while I kind of wish Virginia was that way, Virginia is not. It has to have a title, it has to have tags, it's all for revenue reasons, it's all because the state's greedy. We know that. But Maryland, which is where that ruckus came from, is not like that. They are much more copacetic towards people just buying a vehicle and taking it home. So we bought another Metropolitan because we wanted to try something that's not as common, a little harder to do, and uh, for me, I think it'll be a lot more fun. That's building a Matruckus. Basically, you take the front end of a Metropolitan and you bolt it to the back end of a Ruckus. Why does this work? Why is it something that people do? Because underneath all of the pretty fairings and you know body panels, that lives underneath it. It's the same structure. The big difference between a Metropolitan and a Ruckus is literally the back end. They take the battery box that sits underneath the seat on a uh, Metropolitan and move it into the battery box on the front on a Ruckus. It's a completely different design while using the same skeleton underneath, which is why we stretch out this stretch row using Ruckus parts all underneath it and even converted the rear to a ruckus rear end. But one of the other nice things of having a second moped is that while this guy is meant for someone who's a bit lighter, not as big boy as I am, I can then actually ride this GY6 converted setup and be able to keep up with them and have fun and we can go riding together. I like doing things with my friends and when it's something as simple as this, it's more fun with friends. Take it from me. I completely understand why motorcycle gangs are a thing. There's something fun about being able to just be out there with your mates and just back and forth with each other with, you know, little walkie talkies in your headsets and whatnot. Like, having experienced that a little bit makes me really excited for this next setup a lot. So as some of you guys know, I posted this on Instagram that we were going to go get this new Metropolitan and uh, some of you had some pretty good questions actually. like. What's your goals with it? Where do you want this project to go? Uh, how much like time will it take to get this project done? Things like that. And the reality is, is that our goal is to pretty much just get it swapped and then maybe over time focus on some power mods. I do know that eventually I would love, I would absolutely love to go full on, you know, fuel injected GY6 because they actually do make a fuel injected kit. So, that's something I would definitely love to do in the future, but right now, my goal is to just get it swapped, get it up, get it running, get it done, and just enjoy the daylights out of it.
obviously gonna have to go through the same hoops I went through the first time with the stretch drill as far as you know stuff with the DMV and getting that all squared away but reality is shouldn't be this bad this time now that I know what I need I can get all the paperwork I need printed get it all squared away and just go back to the same spot that I went before because they treated me extremely well and took good care of me. I will admit a few odds and ends that are still left on the table that need to be addressed. You know, we still need things like potentially a new CDI. Uh, we're gonna need, I bought frame extensions, so that's definitely something that's gonna come in handy. I also might need a new set of handlebars because the ones that we had were for the Ruckus, which is flat topped. But with the Metropolitan front end, we obviously can't use that. So there's gonna be a few things here and there that will need to be addressed, converted, and figured out. It's just kind of the nature of the beast when it comes to these types of crazy hybrid swaps. Have a very long trip back is here. And you can even tell just in this craptastic lighting how much better this thing looks compared to the stretch row when we first got it. But it's not gonna look like that for long. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is our new 2003 Honda Metropolitan 2. And as you can tell, this thing runs perfectly. I feel really bad taking this apart. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's just the gusto is there. Like, it's definitely Metro Gears, but I mean, it's quiet. It's like, a, this may as well be the newest vehicle we've ever had, because this only has 1485 on it. Jeez. Mine had like 3K and change on it when we got it, and it properly works. I will say, old gas is kind of smelling right now, and uh, no mods at all. Bone stock, even came with the factory upgrade mirrors. These are definitely going to go on the track though, because I need them. Because that bike's legal, this one's not. But I mean, it's just. This is good. It's so quiet, it's a Tesla. So it's the next morning. Uh, we're, we got home so late that I just couldn't really do it justice by filming this, but look at this. Check this out. But guys, look at how clean it is. It's practically new. I mean, yeah, it's got, you know, signs of damage and wear and tear, right? So there's some scuff marks here and there, and these somehow are miraculously still on. These are notorious for breaking. Uh, it's just a, it's the thing with these. The seat is mostly in good shape. There's like a couple of spots that were definitely attempted to be patched, but eh, I'll still transplant it if I can. This headlight has me. Oh my goodness, look how clean it is. It's so nice. Now, this bike was definitely laid down and laid down going pretty fast. And the giveaway for me is that the most of the damage is on this side. Uh, case in point, like, some serious scuffing on this part of the panel here and there uh, this headlight housing there's like a whole section of this corner that's completely just taken out so it's mostly in good shape right it's not a perfect specimen and we didn't want one for what we're going to do to this considering we're about to take this thing in half yeah we didn't want to do that we wanted something that was nice but not like perfect that way it would kind of match up with the rest of the ruckus back end he didn't even stare at this one the way he did at the other one. He like likes this one. Yeah, buddy? Just cute boy. So now that we've got two of these things, and they're of course different colors, the fun part is going to see the difference between red versus blue once this is all said and done. And with that said, I'm gonna go catch a ride on the working stretch row while I go and check out all the parts and make sure I have everything I need to get that beast up and running with the GY6. So without further ado, thank you all for watching. Thanks for tuning in to my crazy ridiculous life with scooters, race cars, and everything in between. And <laughs> God.
God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. Peace.